Okay, you guys, that was so successful. So I think I'm gonna keep up the momentum and order some breakfast and continue to write while I eat. It's like brunch actually, cause it's 12 o'clock, but yes. I have hit 2,000 words for the day and I'm about 11,700 words into this draft and I'm really really happy with that especially because I didn't hit the daily word count goal for yesterday so I my goal today was to like make up for that word count and I did and that just makes me so happy because I am back on track and I'm loving this part of my story right now I'm working on a chapter that I didn't really think I'd have to touch much in this draft but rewriting it sentence for sentence word for word is really making me change things for the better even if they're super minute and I'm really happy with that because like I said I want this to be as polished as I can take it now when I say polished I'm like mm. I like refrain from using that word because it doesn't seem like super super polished to me like I don't know how to explain it like I don't know if authors ever feel that point in their manuscripts where they're like okay this is perfect nothing needs to be touched that's why I refrain from saying polished but what I mean is I want to take it as far as I can take it so that beta read I know I'm repeating myself but that's so that beta readers can pick up on things that I wouldn't have picked up on. So I'm really, really happy with how this draft three process is going. Hi, you guys. Happy Tuesday, November 8th. I just finished filming my first video for the NaNoWriMo YouTube channel, which explains the makeup. But yeah, I did a bunch of other things this morning and I am ready to get my writing in for the day. I literally have a 10,000 word reward that I haven't cashed in on yet, but I'm gonna do it tonight. And it's a Minecraft session and I'm so excited for that. But for me to fully enjoy it, I have to finish my word count goal for today. So I have zero words. Words. But Brittany and Books is hosting a live stream at five o'clock my time, which is in a couple minutes. So I'm gonna make a snack, get a drink, and write alongside her. I'm super excited, and I think she's a special guest too, which is great. And we're gonna see how many words we get. Maybe we can get all of them during the stream. Maybe I'm overshooting. We'll see. <laughs> guys t minus five minutes to go until Brittany's stream i have my draft two of my manuscript here i have my snack and my coffee and i'm ready to go this is banana bread that my mom made this morning and i know it is late to have coffee but i'm gonna stay up tonight i've already decided i'm gonna stay up a little bit late tonight because i have my minecraft session and i want to fully enjoy my reward i've been waking up early this week so literally just yesterday and today because it's been two days of the week so far but it's been helping with my productivity so much I get so much more done earlier on but since I did so much today I'm gonna allow myself to sleep in tomorrow so I'm gonna stay up tonight so it's fine if I have coffee now plus it doesn't ever keep me up crazy amounts so yeah but four minutes and I'm gonna get into this writing stream with Brittany stream is done that was literally so much fun but you guys i got a total of 507 words during those two hours to be fair during the first sprint my scrivener literally froze and would not work so i got like 60 words the first sprint so i blame scrivener which doesn't usually do this and it i don't think it was my wi-fi because everything else was working so i'm just happy it didn't delete anything i was so scared i was like oh my gosh what if it deletes something which speaking of i should probably back up the stuff i have on scrivener like on google docs as an extra backup i know they back up the doc but i should do an extra one anyways this is just me thinking out loud but should probably do that but anyway it is seven o'clock and honestly you guys i just want to do my minecraft session <laughs> So I'm gonna give myself until eight to get as many words as I can in and then no matter what, where I'm at, I'm just gonna do my Minecraft session because that's just what I wanna do. But you know what? An hour to get a thousand and a hundred around there words is doable? I don't know, we're about to find out right now. Okay, you guys. 
guys, it is 9.10. I ate and then had another writing session and I've gotten to a thousand words. And you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm gonna stick with that for today and call it a day in terms of my writing. Let's add the words together. I felt pretty good writing this and let's see where we are in the graph. I'm so scared. Okay, so we're supposed to be at 13,333, but we're at 12,851. So it's not terrible. It's not terrible. I mean, it's still touching the line. So I guess that's good. Also, I haven't awarded myself badges yet, but I really want to. I am a planter for sure. Most of my plot is plotted out, but a lot of the conversations and dialogue is pantsed. Is, does that count? I don't know. <laughs> I actually have been really good with this. I've been going on walks, I've been eating snacks that are mostly healthy, and my sleep hasn't been terrible, so I'm gonna give myself this badge. I've told you guys, hopefully that counts. <laughs> you know what? I'm cheering you all on. You got this. And you guys, dun dun dun, since I'm not writing a first draft, I am a nano rebel. <laughs> Morning, you guys it is Thursday and you'll be seeing a lot of this mug because I'm gonna be using it probably up until like the end of November or November 12th when I start celebrating Christmas anyways I literally am falling so behind in my writing I'm supposed to be at 16,667 words I'm at 12,851 I didn't write yesterday I was editing a bunch yesterday and doing other things I was just super busy um, and I wrote 900 like you know the day before that so I'm gonna write now this just means that at some point I'm gonna have to do a 5k word day or better yet maybe like a 3k word day for a bunch of days because honestly attempting like a lot of words in one day is a lot harder when you're doing a third draft than if you're doing a first draft so we'll see how that works but I am determined to catch up even if it's a little bit so I'm gonna write right now. So I'm gonna do my signature reading and writing sprints and right now I'm reading November 9th by Colleen Hoover and I really like it so far. However, my current read is actually The Silent Patient and I literally love this book so much. It's a thriller, it's like the first thriller I've read. Well, I did read Verity, but I don't think it was like that scary. Like I don't think it could really classify it as a thriller. Actually, you probably could, but I know that this is different. It's a psychological thriller and I literally love it so much so far. But yeah, I don't use these for my reading writing sprints just because it is past tense and it's not a romance or contemporary and for my reading writing sprints I love to use same genre same tense it's just a little bit more effective for me but this is a really really good book also I customized my Scrivener background so that when I enter this mode it has like hearts on the side to like inspire me for my novel and I love it so much it's so cute I actually love doing this because like I customize it depending on the story that I'm working on so for Project Soulmates it's a bunch of hearts and then for Project ITL um, it's based in San Francisco and LA so I did like a city background and I really really like it so highly recommend doing this if you don't know how to do it, the way to do it is to go up to project and then project settings and then here you can go to background images and then you can choose from disk, which is what I did. I downloaded the hearts wallpaper that I just found off of Pinterest and then uploaded it because usually it's on no backdrop, but yeah, you can choose from disk, which is great and that's how I do it. Also, you guys, another thing you can do on this that I never knew, which I found, find so useful, is that if you click on edit and then you go to writing tools here, you can literally use their name generator to generate names and it's so cool. You can get super specific. You could choose male, female, either. You can tr even do attempt alliteration and then here you can do names based off of their um, ethnicity or nationality or whatever. So I think this is super, super cool and I've been using it and loving it. Anyway, time to write.
All right, guys, a little writing break. I'm about to go do some errands with Serena. Um, essentially, our main focus is to go to like home hardware and find out which like blinds and curtains we want for our rooms. Like we don't really know yet. Like we got new windows installed upstairs and downstairs, but we have not yet installed like blinds or curtains because we want to find like the right ones to put. So we're just going to go window shop a little bit. My mom's working, so she's <laughs> trusting us with finding the right type for our bedrooms. We kind of already know what we want for the downstairs windows, but not for upstairs. So we're going to go do that. So far, I've written 785 words for the day. But yeah, let's go. like at all but yesterday i got my nails done with my sister serena uh is it gonna focus wait okay this is what they look like i like them i just think they're a little too long but i kind of have an issue with like voicing my thoughts when it comes to doing my nails and she cut them and she was like is this good and i didn't know i didn't realize it was too long until like later but no blame at all to the nail lady like it was my fault i did not voice like oh that's too long um when i totally should have but yeah i do really like the color so that's good i guess but yeah um and then i hung out with my boyfriend yesterday so i really just didn't get any writing done yesterday at all and we are very far from where i'm supposed to be right now in my novel. That being said, here's the game plan. I'm at like 14,000 right now in my novel. I'm supposed to be at 18,000. So I'm going to attempt a 5,000 word day. Do I think I'm going to get 5,000 today? Honestly, I think it's a little highly unlikely because I'm really trying to have really polished sentences. I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record. I feel like I repeat this stuff over and over again. But like I said, it'll be harder to do like a 10k word day or a 5k word day, even 3,000. But shoot for the moon and if you miss, you land among the stars. So we're going to aim for 5,000 words and even if I get 3,000 I'd be really happy so that's the goal and I know that I have a reward for every 10,000 words that I reach in this manuscript but honestly if I can get to at least 3,000 words written today I'm gonna reward myself with a Minecraft session tonight because it is one o'clock on a Saturday and I have nothing else to do for the rest of the day which is rare I'm literally been so busy so we have lots of time to attempt this challenge and to cash out on a mini reward if I manage to get at least 3,000 words hopefully 5,000. So with all that being said, I'm going to dive right into my writing. I'm going to do my signature reading and writing sprints that I did for a little bit before I went to the mall the other day. I didn't really get a chance to do that. So I'm going to do it today, right now. I have my coffee and I am so ready to attempt a 5,000 word day. Let's see how this goes. o'clock and I now have a thousand words so very very slow moving but I'm gonna go on the treadmill and write some more words while walking on the treadmill um and I might not vlog it just because I don't want to bring my phone down because I'm, I get distracted on my phone way too easily so I might update you after but I'm hoping to hopefully maybe get 2,000 words while on the treadmill maybe even a thousand and then we can maybe get the rest after I eat dinner or something but yeah I think I need a change of scenery okay you guys it is a lot later but I've gotten back from writing on the treadmill and I've written 3,012 words. I think it's so funny that as soon as I hit 3,000 I'm like okay yep I'm out bye. Like literally so done with this for the day but honestly I'm really really happy that I got 3,000 words. Of course the goal was 5,000 but like I said shoot for the moon. <laughs> I really need to learn what the exact words of that saying is. Uh, like shoot for the moon and if you miss you'll land among the stars and 3,000 is still amazing. So I'm really really happy that I got that and I'm gonna have my, well first I'm gonna have 
dinner and a shower and then I'm gonna have my Minecraft session. And I'm super excited to get back into writing tomorrow. And I'm gonna aim for 5,000 again after I'm done work tomorrow because I think I need to really take advantage of the days where I don't have a lot else to do. So yeah, but very happy with the word count for today. Let's put it on the nano site. Also, I have to say, I'm really happy with how my novel is coming along right now. I really do enjoy the process of taking what I have and making it better in any little way that I can. And like I said before, my goal is to write in a deeper POV, you know, bring more of Anna's thoughts into the narration. So we really feel like we're getting pulled into her head a little bit more. And I think I'm doing a good job at that so far, or at least a lot better than in my previous drafts. So I'm really, really happy with that. Okay, let's see where we're at on the graph right now. Okay, not terrible. We're now a little under 3,000 away from where we're supposed to be, but hopefully tomorrow we get even closer. Hello, you guys. It is 2.30 on a Sunday afternoon. It is right o'clock. It is the right time to write. I have the rest of the day ahead of me to write and I'm going to take advantage of it. I just watched Jack Edwards a vlog where he vlogs a week in his life as a writing student in New York City and the vibes are immaculate. I literally was like, I need to write right now, right after I watched it. So I'm definitely gonna try to get in as many words as I can today. We are behind schedule NaNoWriMo wise. We are I don't know, I think we're a thousand away, um, maybe 2,000, but we're gonna get a bunch of words in today and I'm so excited to maximize on my potential. I'm gonna have magic mind, I'm gonna have a coffee, and we are gonna get right into it. I also left off my book on a really good part, so I'm excited to dive back into it. But yeah, let's go get our fuel. <laughs> Just a small little check-in, but I'm 633 words in and it's four o'clock. And again, the writing is a little slow right now, but that's because I'm taking my time to write some descriptions of like the atmosphere and other places that were like placeholders in earlier drafts. And I'm really enjoying the process. I am a chronic underwriter for earlier drafts and that's because I tend to skip over descriptions because it takes me so long to think of them and to think of a good way to really capture the atmosphere, the sights, the sounds smells but I'm taking my time with it right now because I am aware that that's necessary um, but in the spots where I'm adding description for the first time I'm putting a different color on like I'm putting the font as a different color and then I'm labeling the chapter as rework later so in Scrivener you can label different chapters and then when you see all the chapters on the cork board you can easily spot the ones that are labeled um, this way when I'm done writing the whole entire draft three I can go back to those chapters and take another look at them because I feel like they need just one more look. So yeah, that's just a little update. And then guess who forgot to film an outro? Me. Yeah, I am so sorry, but basically that day I ended up writing around 2,000 words. I got to a total of 19,184 in my manuscript, which brings me closer to my goal, which should have been 21,667. So stay tuned to next week's video to see if I catch up because we've got a lot of catching up to do. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye.